Operation Deep Freeze is descending on Rainbow Six Siege and introducing an operator whose gadget is designed to cool off attacker rushes and ice out attacker gadgets. His name is Tubarao, and I'll tell you all about his cryogenic Zoto canisters and his powerful loadout about uh, 45 seconds from now. Operation Deep Freeze also delivers a new map, the secret HQ of the sinister Deimos, half hidden in a cave and appropriately named Lair. To help you learn this and other maps inside and out, a new type of training called Map Run is inbound, as well as a versus AI mode to accelerate your ranked readiness by pitting you against AI enemies that emulate real players. You'll also want to keep an eye out for the Frag Grenade update and update your tactics accordingly. So let's get into it. Time to dive into Operation Deep Freeze. Speaking of diving, the new Operator is actually something of an undersea adventurer, hailing from the Azores archipelago off the coast of Portugal. Tuberau is a defender with medium speed and health whose gadget and loadout allow him to thrive in both roamer and anchor roles. His MPX submachine gun offers a snappy response to any attackers he engages, while his AR-15 DMR is modified to use 50 caliber rounds. With the P226 MK25 pistol as his sidearm and a choice of nitro cell or proximity alarm, Tuberau can adapt his playstyle to complement the many uses of his unique Zoto canister gadget. Let's start with the basics. The Zoto functions a bit like an impact grenade in that Tuberau throws it and when it hits a surface, boom, it activates. Instead of destroying things, however, the Zoto super cools anything caught in its radius. This means slowing down the movement speed of operators and disabling or pausing gadgets. The iced out area lingers for a bit, continuing to affect anything inside it, but eventually dissipates and everything affected resumes normal operation. Attackers can thaw things out more quickly by destroying the Zoto canister itself with, say, Zofia's impact rounds, Twitch or Zero's gadget lasers, or some good old-fashioned frags or bullets. The freezing area of effect created by the Zoto doesn't destroy gadgets or harm operators. What it does is create a powerful window of opportunity for Tuberau and his team to destroy gadgets or harm operators. Slowing an operator hinders their movement and reactivity. This has obvious benefits in most engagements, but consider deploying a Zoto against an incoming Amaru to negate her speed advantage, or against the shield operator to sandbag them while you outmaneuver. Maverick is a good counter here, as he'll merely be slowed in his breach progress, but denying a breach and helping his team hold a wall is one of Tuberau's strengths. However, defenders need to be smart when playing off a Zoto Freeze, because gadgets they deploy in the frozen area will also be affected. A bandit battery would activate immediately upon thawing out, but a Kaid Electroclaw likely won't have time to engage if it unfreezes at the same time as the breaching gadget. So, be sure to place it just outside the frozen area so it has time to arm before the freezing dissipates. This applies to nitro cells as well, which is important to keep in mind because a Zoto canister thrown on a ceiling will freeze the floor above. And if an operator walks on a frozen floor, their footsteps will be visible from below. This makes a very tempting target but a nitro cell won't work in the frozen area, so Tubarau and his fellow nitro cell slingers will have to anticipate where their enemies will go and throw accordingly. But don't sleep on his roaming capabilities. A well-placed Zoto canister will disable a claymore and allow Tubarau to apply pressure from the attacker's flank. A Zoto can also put the chill on Nomad's air jab grenades. Tuberau's gadget is versatile, and its efficacy in a variety of situations allows him to be useful and impactful throughout the entire round. And did I mention his AR-15 DMR shoots high-caliber bullets? Talk about an impact. 
to Baral will be unlockable at season launch through the premium battle pass and available two weeks later for purchase with Renown or R6 credits. But Operation Deep Freeze is bringing a bunch of free updates for all players as well, including the new layer map. This is the secretive military installation where the masked antagonist Deimos prepares his assaults against Team Rainbow. There's even a room on the top floor where you can see some of his previous plans. Built into a massive cavern, Lair has numerous entry points on each floor, including a top floor spawn point, so defenders will have to make the most of the prep phase to prepare for aggressive entry. There's more to come in Operation Deep Freeze, but one more thing you'll want to note as you prepare for launch is that you'll no longer be able to cook frag grenades. You can shorten the fuse timer a bit by bouncing them off of a surface, but you'll have to adapt your timing and positioning if you want to keep using them to deadly effect. As part of this update, twice as many operators will now have access to frags as Blackbeard, IQ, Lion, Osa, and Sens are gaining them. For more on Rainbow Six Siege, follow this channel and visit us at news.ubisoft.com. you.